Hello, WWE brother. Welcome to WWE News Now. If you are a loyal WWE brother leave your like and subscribe to the channel, to stay on top of WWE News. Mandy Rose participated in WWE Tough Enough in 2015, finishing second in the event behind joint winners Sarah Lee and Josh Brettel. She made her NXT debut in 2016. Rose had a five-year main roster career and split her time between SmackDown and Raw. She returns to NXT in July 2021 to form the Toxic Attraction Alliance with Dolan and Jane. She defeated Raquel Gonzalez at Halloween Havoc 2021 and defeated Mako Satamura and Blair Davenport at Worlds Collide in September, unifying the NXT Women's Championship with the NXT UK Championship. Rose was recently ranked 21st among the top 150 female individual wrestlers. Mandy, whose real name is Amanda Sacamano, was the NXT Women's Champion for 413 consecutive days before losing to Perez last Tuesday December 13, 2022 The fight was scheduled after Rose attacked Perez on the deadline show on December 10, 2022, in which the challenge was issued to Rose. WWE dismissed Mandy Rose a day after she lost the NXT Women's Championship to Roxanne Perez at the NXT Finals show. It is unclear why WWE decided to part ways with Rose, who seemed to be on the rise again within the company stemming from her NXT Championship title and her stable alliance with fellow wrestlers Gigi Dolan and JC Jane. Fightful suggested that WWE was not happy with some of the content Rose posted on the Fantime subscription site. Tell me in the comments. In your opinion did WWE do the right thing by firing Mandy Rose?